On to news happening today, NMDOT will unveil a brand new ad aimed at keeping teen drivers safe on the road. It's all part of National Teen Driver Safety Week. News 13 Sarah Yingling is live with the first look at the PSA and the impact the department hopes it will have on some fellow students. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Crystal. Well, in just hours, that PSA will be shown to hundreds of students here at St. Pius High School. This year, they're focusing on the importance of emergency roadside safety, what to do if involved in an accident. Now, this is the PSA. It's something Andrew Trujillo, which his daughter had seen before getting into an accident where she was rear-ended by a truck badly injuring her back. Trujillo said at the time his daughter didn't know how to exchange information after an accident and says the man drove off. So these days, they're taking extra precautions, even buying his daughter a safety sock, as seen in this PSA. If they have a flat tire or a blowout, they can actually pull out the safety sock and, and put it on their mirror without even getting out the car. Last year, over 40 teens were involved in fatal crashes and over 7,000 in accidents alone. That number is down from the year 2000, where 70 teens were involved in fatal crashes and over 10,000 involved in car accidents. And MDOT officials credit that decline to programs such as this and the graduate licensing program. There's a lot of parental involvement in that. Um, they're responsible for uh, doing some 50 hours of supervised driving, ensuring that their student does complete their driver education program as they progress through the system. And officials say teens who graduate gra driving schools in the month of October will receive one of these free safety socks to put on their car, just like this, in case of emergencies. Back to you. Good tips. Thanks so much, Sarah. The press conference starts at 10. Representatives from the Sheriff's Department, NMDOT, and driving schools will all be on hand.